Hey guys, it's me Jake from JakeMan21642 and today I bring you a video of this 2008 Volkswagen Beetle convertible. As you can see this one has a Harvest Moon beige exterior which looks absolutely excellent on the car and as you can see you do have a tan soft top on this one. Along the back this one is riding on Champion HR Firestone Champion HR tires. They are 225 45 R17s. So your 17 inch alloy wheels with rear disc brakes. This is just such a fun little car and I love the way it looks. You can see your back seat and up front. And along the side, this one is in great shape. You can see your projector headlights along the front and your Volkswagen emblem. This one does have a manual convertible top. So basically all you do when you want to put the top up it's just lift it. As you can see, it is so easy. I can do it with one hand while holding a camera. And just make sure it goes down like that. We'll step inside. And right here, just pull down. And all you do is pull down. This kind of does require two hands, but you have to make sure it latches. And then that just goes back in like that. So we'll go ahead, start the car up. Do get your standard switchblade key fob from Volkswagen. Insert it here. And it starts up excellent. So go ahead, close the door. Put all four windows up. Just pull this right here. And as you can see, you are nice and sealed inside now. So inside of this Beetle, as you can see, you do have the standard steering wheel on this one, which I really like this material around the edges. It's very nice and grippy and it's not harsh at all. And you do have very nice and tight power steering. Along the door, you do get your color accents inside from the Harvest Moon color, which looks very good. You do have your lock controls up here, power mirrors, and all of your power windows. Fuel and trunk release back here if they are lockable. You have some more storage right here. And your headlight controls, along with your gauge dimmer over here. And the dash is all soft touch material along here and over here too. As you can see in the middle, you do have your speedometer, which is a little updated for this vehicle compared to some of the earlier Beetles. You do have your gas gauge, your tachometer, and then your speedometer in the middle, along with your uh, trip computer and miles. In the middle, as you can see, your two air vents, which the uh, air conditioning in this one works absolutely perfect. You do get these little chrome lines around them also. And this vehicle does have a very large dash. It's a very nice view out. And you do have your premium audio speakers in the dash. Up here, you do have a manually dimming review mirror your clock and outside temperature. In the middle, this one does have the Volkswagen Premium MP3 system, which it's a very, very nice system. Very easy to use. As you can see, your volume over here, along with your treble, mid, bass, um, your fade and balance CD player up here. It is equipped with satellite radio, along with an auxiliary in. And overall, very nice and easy to use. Down here, you do have your air conditioning settings, your ESP on and off, rear defrost, along with heated seats for the driver and passenger. Down here, some storage along with a 12 volt outlet and right here you do have your six speed automatic transmission with sport and manual shift mode back here there are two more cup holders along with some storage in the middle and another power outlet back here and this vehicle has an absolutely cavernous amount of headroom inside just like the standard beetles and it is a very nice material along here as well as on these pillars So we'll go ahead, put the automatic driver's side window down, make sure all the doors are unlocked, pop the hood, as well as release the trunk. You can see the back seat a little bit from this side, just lift the seat up. We'll step in on the other side. Coming to the trunk of the Beetle, as you can see, flips open. It is kind of a small opening. But it does have a very nice amount of space inside. You can take this out. This is the leather boot to put over your convertible top. Underneath of here, you have a full-size spare tire and all your jack storage. But for what it is, it's a decent amount of room in this car. And you do also have a little pass-through right there to the back seat. Closes just like that. You have your fuel cap on this side. And you can see with the top up, the car has a very nice uh, color scheme going to it. We'll step in the back seat. 
And for what it is, the Beetle has a pretty nice amount of back seat room. The seat is back kind of far. But bringing it back, my legs do kind of go inside of it. As you can see in the middle, there is a cup holder, as well as your speakers along the doors, and it is soft-touch material, along with your Harvest Moon color following through on right here. But overall, it's not bad. I actually have a very nice amount of headroom. Go ahead and move the seat up. Also, when the top is up, you do have a little bit of a cargo space back here if you wanted to. And in the middle, there is this trunk pass-through, as you can see, which is lockable also. Coming up front in the Beetle, go ahead and step inside. It is a fully manual passenger seat. And inside of here, you have all of your original owner's literature right here, as well as it is lighted. And as you can see over here, your auxiliary in. And one thing I can show you with the top up now, when you do open the uh, doors and close them, the window will come down a little bit just to clear the top. You can see your turn signal indicators in the mirrors right here. And up front, you can see your projector headlights. And up underneath the hood of this Beetle, just pull right here. You do have the 2.5 liter inline five cylinder engine, which was uh, updated in this vehicle from the two liter four cylinder. And I can tell you just from a few minutes with this car, this engine is way better than the two liter. We do own two cars in my family with this engine and excellent power, excellent fuel economy and very, very nice and reliable. Go ahead and close that. And I'll go ahead and step back inside of the Beetle. Give you a shot of the interior with the top up. And I'll give it a quick rev. As you can hear, the five cylinder has an excellent note to it. And we'll go ahead, put the automatic driver's side window back up. And cut the vehicle off by right here. Will chime, reminding you to turn your headlights off. And as always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.